everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today we're going to be taking a look at a holster from a company called Hidden Hybrid Holsters. Now, this particular one right here is for my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield and 9mm, but if you're looking for a holster for a different firearm, all you have to do is go over to their website, click on products, and it'll bring up all the manufacturers that they make holsters for, and they cover just about everybody so it's kind of a one-stop shop deal i mean everything from dan wesson smith and wesson glock car arms keltec uh beretta i mean you name it they have it and they don't just have holsters like you're looking at right here which is the double clip type holster they also have holsters that have single clips so if you like appendix carry small the back carry strong side single clip they have that as well but I opted for the double clip, and I'm really happy that I did. This is one of the nicest, if not the most comfortable holster that I've ever owned in my entire life. It's one of those holsters that you put on, and you put inside your waistband, and you're like, oh, yeah. I mean, that's one of the holsters that you're looking for right there. It's very comfortable. It's very lightweight. The quality of the materials is just above par. This is really nice leather, extremely nice kydex. They use some of the highest quality uh, materials and hooks and uh, grommets, things like that, that really make this kind of one of those top of the line holsters. So if you're looking for something high quality that you don't want to just mess with, you can get one of these. Now, in the past, I've had experience with, you know, some different hybrid holsters that are out there. My first hybrid holster was actually an Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 2.0, and I ended up sending that back. I just wasn't happy with it at all. So kind of moving forward with hybrid holsters, I was a little bit nervous, but after trying this one out, it's just so nice. It will change your mind on hybrid holsters if you've decided not to go that direction for one reason or another. It is extremely comfortable on the back. The Kydex is shaped so nice. The retention is great even when it's not on body. And that's one of the problems that I had with some other hybrid holsters is if you didn't have a nice tight belt or it just wasn't on right, the retention wasn't really good. Um, the other issues that I've had with some hybrid holsters is that you can't get your entire hand around the firearm. So when I'm reaching down and I want to draw, I don't want my fingers to be hitting the holster. I want my fingers to be able to get a good firm grip on the pistol and have that be the grip that I'm going to use when I'm when I'm doing my draw. And so this allows for a nice, good, clean draw where you don't have to change your grip. So uh, overall, not only is the quality of the materials good, but the design is is really nice. The way that it's cut, the way that it fits, the way that it hides. It's just a great holster overall. Now, one thing that I really liked about this holster was how it retained its shape. It doesn't collapse on you at all. So I was able to draw, fire, reholster, redraw, fire, reholster, redraw, and then do that over and over. And each time I was able to reholster the firearm and draw it within a second or so and get a good shot on the uh, target. So it reholsters nice. It doesn't collapse on you. It holds up well. The retention is great. You know, with a holster, Typically, with a standard holster outside the waistband, you're looking for two things. You're looking for it to protect the trigger guard so the gun doesn't go off, and you're looking for it to hold the firearm, so good retention. But with a holster like this, a concealed carry holster, you want it to do three things. You want it to protect the trigger, to make sure it doesn't go off. You want it to hold the firearm, good retention, and then you want it to be able to conceal well. And this does all three perfect. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention about this holster that I really like is the little slots that you see right there next to the clips. If the weather permits and you want to wear this as an outside the waistband holster, all you have to do is take the clips off and simply run your belt through those holes right there. And then so you can wear it inside the waistband or outside the waistband. And it just adds a lot more versatility to the holster as well. So that's just another little feature that I like. Now, if it seems like I'm being really enthusiastic about this holster, it's because I am really enthusiastic about this holster. It's honestly one of my favorites. I like it a lot. Uh, and it's definitely worth checking out. Whether you like the one clip option, appendix carry, a full-size double clip like this, or something else. You can check out their website and they have a lot of great options. And they make really high quality stuff. So definitely uh, check out Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I'll put a link again in the description box. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.